Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Finally got the time to record this episode. You up, you up, you up, you up, you up. Today's episode is the analysis of the new intro of the episode 89 after 1000. I want to say something before we start. Anime intros in general tell you a little about the coming events later in the story. Meaning that from the new intro, we can see the events and important characters that we will see later. So, the stage that we are going to go to, the arc that we are going to go to will be very nice. Or it's expected to be nice. There will be new characters and we will start revealing the secrets of the end of the story. Start analyzing this intro and see which characters we can expect and what events can form the adventures in the island of Egghead. It's time to start! Let's go! The last intro that was at the end of the Wano arc? That intro did not continue with us for long. After Luffy defeated Kaido, there was a different intro. It was about the story of what? What's the name of that girl? Kaido's daughter who is pretending to be Odin? Yamato! It was about Yamato and there were some clips, almost a summary of Wano Island. The intro was not important. But this intro is important. It is officially a new intro. We will see in it important events that will come later. <laughs> Firstly, the animation changed. The animation team changed in Toei recently. There is a new animation team. So we expect the animation style to be different. And the characters are in different costumes. The big white island behind them is the island that they are going to, I expect. Robots will be a big part of this arc and we will see them a lot in this island. We expect to see a lot of technology because the events here all revolve around Dr. Vegapunk. He is the top scientist in the story. This robot reminds me of an old Japanese anime, if you remember him. He looked a lot like this robot in the intro. We saw advanced technology in the previous clip. Now we see a mess and ruins in this clip. So this means there will be some ancient ruins in the story. And the ruins seem technologically advanced. We see metals and electronic devices, not an ancient civilization or from the Stone Age. I think it would be a developed civilization. But from the past, when it comes out in the story. This is the first. Oh, I know this character. This is similar to that guy. Similar to the famous Japanese YouTuber who talks about One Piece. I guess they based the character after him in the story. I'll put a picture of him. I don't know who this girl is. I think those who watch the manga know who these characters are. These are the characters that we can expect on, on the island. This girl with the little robot is the second character. Every human has a robot. I don't know what that means. I can easily guess who these guys are. CP Zoo is after us wherever we go. Rob Lucci was already defeated by Luffy. I don't know why he is still appearing. Yeah, and then he was CP9. I think that CP get promoted like from 9 to 8 to 7 to 6 until he reaches 0, which is the strongest. So Rob Lachi is a strange character, guys. He went from 9 to 0 right away. Or is it Ascendia? He was 9, which is second best. And then he became 0, which is the best. Da! God knows. I was expecting that if they continue with us, these guys who are special intelligence, CP0, that they will be different characters. I don't know why they repeat the same characters here. This is the long nose guy who fought Zoro in Water 7. I think we still don't know about this girl. 
She was at the Big Mom party at the wedding. But we don't have information about her. Let's continue. This character, whoever is watching the manga knows him. I'm not gonna spoil him. But he's gonna be an important character in the next episode. They even put him center stage in this clip. It's obvious that he's important. He looks like Einstein. Einstein has a picture. This is Einstein's picture. And has the same look with his tongue sticking out. Let's continue. The mask changed. The people are the same, but their mask changed. I don't know. What is the symbolism behind it? I don't know why the long nose guy is wearing a mask. It is obvious who he is. It reminds me when Usopp was Sogye King. It is obvious who he is. So they masks changed like I said. Maybe they mean something. Why is the bird wearing a mask? It's not a character. Weird. Let's continue. Can't mention that. Technology. Even the clothes are technology. The rooms they're in have technology. <laughs> the clothes changed. I don't know what the shoes mean. Are they advanced shoes that can make them fly, for example? The new characters again. Garp, what's Garp's role in Egghead? And this girl with black hair. And who's this? Borsalino? This one who has the light fruit, the Admiral. What's his name? It's Borsalino. But he has another name. I forgot his name. I don't like him. He almost killed my entire crew. Why is he in this clip? Why did they put him? Buggy Mihawk and Crocodile. Oh, okay. It's expected that Cross Guild will continue with us. In this clip, Zoro and Luffy were sitting. In the next scene, Luffy disappeared. So it's just Zoro, Mihawk, and Buggy and Crocodile. I don't know why they're like this. And Gear 5, Luffy is behind them. So, there's a confrontation between them. Now, Gear 5 is something that will continue with us. That's exciting. We will see it alive. This is the island. Yes, the island below is the island that I just played. It looks like something, I mean, I mean, it's an alien island. I think there are flying cars and people walking on it. Like in Dragon Ball, there was a city like this. Or oh, the city was the most famous, the one that Bulma was from. The capital city. I think it was called West City. It looks like this city. Luffy causing chaos again. Luffy, so we follow. This island is the pirate island where Blackbeard is stationed now. What does this clip mean? Um, Kobe carrying a metal boy. Okay, it looks like it is chained to this leg. He is in captivity. If you remember, Kobe last time was imprisoned by Blackbeard. So this girl, Vegapunks' assistant, helps Kobe escape, and then what? They are watched by red eyes. I don't know what that means. Are they Blackbeard's eyes? I don't know what these symbols mean. This guy on the left looks like Jim Bay. The little boy, but he's a little boy. And there's the big hand behind him. That's holding jewelry. That's another mystery. This little girl again. Trafalgar's crew again. These are all new characters. But they're marine characters. Okay, so the blonde girl that's on the left, she's the one that saved Kobe. That means the marine saved Kobe. But who are the pirates behind them? So the connection between them is not clear. This character, this guy, we saw him. He joined us in Sabodi Archipelago for the first time. And he was very strong. One of the first characters that used hockey. And he had advanced hockey. But we didn't learn much about him. He was shown for only a little bit. But he was the one who introduced himself as the personal bodyguard of Vegapunk. So it is normal to see him in Vegapunk Island. But his power is a mystery. Is he actually stronger than the characters that we've seen before? Or maybe he's just weak? We will find out. And behind him are the pacifista. So he's a pivotal character in this arc. It is expected to see him here. But we want to know more about him and his backstory. Who is he? Who trained him? Because he is very strong. 
Or at least, he is expected to be very strong! This guy! Kizaru! Now I remember his name! Kizaru! Wait, let me repeat this clip! Okay, this is strange! When Kizaru appears, he must appear with the other admirals! Akainu, Fujitora, and the other green admiral. Because they are one team! Why is he appearing alone? I think this means something! And then we switch to Kuma! Kuma looks like he is freeing himself from captivity! The cables on him look like some kind laboratory! We know that Kuma sacrificed himself in Sabori to save the Luffy and the Straw Hats! He then voluntarily chose to turn himself into a robot with Dr. Vegapunk? And now he is trying to free himself! What does it mean? And in this clip, he is appearing with Kizaru! We know that Kuma is an ally of Luffy. But what is Kizaru's relationship to all this? Either Kizaru has a connection to Kuma or uh, he will help Luffy. One of the two. This is a weird moment. Kizaru should appear with the Marines. He shouldn't appear with someone else or with Luffy's partners. I think this is an important thing in the story. These are the new weapons that Vagabond has developed. We saw in the Island of Women, we saw a little girl. She looks like a little Boa Hancock. And we saw a little boy that looks like my hawk. But God knows, are they really humans as like children? Or are they robots? They have black wings. That's weird. They're the same as kings. They're the same wings as King had before. When the Straw Hats were fighting Kaido. During Zoro and King's fight, we discovered that King was from a race that was persecuted by the Marines. Lunarians, they were called. But that is an extinct race. So are these children from the same race as King? That is an intriguing mystery. And I guess those questions will be revealed during this arc. But the weird thing is that every character we saw has a child that looks like him or her. It's obvious that there's a... It's obvious that this happened deliberately, not at random. Why is this kid next to her that looks like Jinbei? And then Bonnie comes out the other side. Bonnie has a main role in this story. Bonnie, we know that she was trying to save Kuma. She was trying to save him. There is a connection between them. But what is her role? According to the intro, she is a main character on this island. Okay, so this is the child. The one who was supposed to have raised him is Kizaru, the one who took care of him. He introduced himself as the greatest defense of the Marines. That is a powerful title, especially for a young person. So we have high expectations for his strength. I think they are telling us his story when he was a kid. This hand is probably Kizaru's hand. And he is shooting light from his finger. So Kizaru raised him. And we will see their backstory. This is the one I told you about the YouTuber that made the video. Behind him are world government special agents. Is he a spy? Yes, these are them. The children that look like the main characters. The marines use them to fight for them. The same race as King. They are definitely from the same race as King. Black wings and fire behind their backs. The Marines developed them and made them look like the main characters. It is obvious that they are sad. Someone is patting their heads, but they appear sad. They are looking down. Their backstory will be sad. King, if Kaido didn't rescue him, he'd be like these kids. And this eye that has the star. I don't know what it means. These are my outfits throughout the story. Yeah, the, uh, the character's appearance here is based on when they joined the crew, I think. I mean, the first thing was Zoro, who joined officially. I mean, Nami, she went on the ship with Luffy, but she wasn't officially a straw hat. She was still with that shark. What was his name? It wasn't Crocodile. Arlong, she was with Arlong. So it was Zoro, Sanji, Usopp, and then Nami. 
Those were the first four. Let us see if that is the order here. No, they put Nami second. But she wasn't officially a straw hat until after Luffy defeated Arlong. Then Chopper, then Nico Robin in. Arbasta! And then the other characters. Okay, here are the confrontations. These are the confrontations that I think we're gonna see in the end. First, we will see Luffy gear fight with Rob Lucci. Lucci and Luffy are similar in names, but Lucci has something different. The black cloud on his shoulder. This one, it looks like Luffy, I think he awakened his fruit. But what extra powers did he gain? We do not know. Let's continue. There is a confrontation here that I did not expect. I don't know what it means. I am curious to what are the circumstances that led to it. I didn't hit it fast. I'll go slowly. Oh no, sorry. I just realized who this character is. This is Shanks. Shanks when he faced Kid. I think they're repeating the past. How he faced Kid with Shanks? This is the other confrontation. Law with Blackbeard. What is their relationship with each other? We expected that at the end Luffy will face Blackbeard. But why will Law face Blackbeard? This is not expected. The next person is Garp and Aokiji. Until now we thought they were together. Aokiji left the Navy. And we thought he was working for S.W.O.R.D. with Garp. S.W.O.R.D. is a secret organization that is behind the scenes trying to destroy the world government, which Drake was one of them. But this confrontation is weird. I don't know why. Garp will face Aokiji's Zoro with the boy who looks like Mihawk. Okay, swordsman versus swordsman. And at the same time, the results of this fight will give us a glimpse. I think it gives us a glimpse of the final confrontation between Zoro and the real Mihawk. This battle tells us a little bit about how the final battle between Mihawk and Zoro will be. Luffy and Luchi are still fighting. Using hockey, the black hands. Are there any other fights? This is Sabo, okay? This is the highlight of Sabo. Now we want to see what happened to Sabo in Marijua. There is the castle in Marijua. And this is the black ally that was with him. We want to know what happened in Marijuais between Sabo and other characters, Marijua. Morgan here is the owner of newspapers around the world. So him appearing means he will cause some sort of disruption in the world. Maybe he will print news that the world government wants to hide. These flowers, what do they mean? Is it a funeral? These swords are now talking about Im. I saw a theory about how these swords reveal the identity of Im. There was one sword in the room with the flowers. The chamber of flowers. Why was there only one sword in there? And the rest of the swords are under the throne. In this next level, it's obvious that Ryder will talk about Im more. What is the symbolism of these swords? And the butterflies. They always appear. What do the butterflies mean? Sabo is bleeding. The blood is coming down from his head. It's obvious that he was fighting someone. All these characters are known for their fights. It means they will struggle in their fights, kid. We know kid lost his arm. Law. Will he lose against Teach? For example, Kobe will lose and then rise up. Because he is bleeding. And then he stood up again. Why is Vivi in this arc? Okay, Vivi switched to a scene with a different woman. Are they connected? 
This orange circle is the secret move of Kuma, the power of his devil fruit. This girl has pink hair. What's her relationship with Vivi and Kuma? So to summarize, the main characters in this stage are Kuma, Kizaru, the guy that we said is the strongest defense in the Marines, Bonnie. Um, these four characters, it's strange that they are all together in Egghead Island. Vivi, also Vivi is probably involved with Im and Sabo in Marie Joyce, so their story will go there later. This is the island from the top. There's something like a magnetic field that's on it, that's white. And there's iron on top of it, like a magnetic field. And this map, I think it's the map of, uh... Laugh Tale, like something happens in Egghead. And the path to Laugh Tale is revealed. That star is Laugh Tale. If you go up here, you'll be in Laugh Tale. Like they get something in Egghead, I think. Like, they get something in Egghead. That helps them reach Laugh Tale. Okay. So this was my analysis to the new intro. Because intros in anime talk about the main events that will come. Now that I analyzed the intro, I have another analysis about the episode. Let's go to it next.